The increasing global demand for soy is putting enormous pressure on natural areas, biodiversity and our climate. However, soy is still the most popular source of plant protein for those animals that can't extract nutrients directly from plants, such as pigs. At Aarhus University, researchers at the interdisciplinary research center CBIO, Center for Circular Bioeconomy, are looking for locally grown, sustainable alternatives to soy imports for animal feed. A promising candidate is grass. The first step now is to find which grass species and cultivation methods are best suited for this purpose. A special focus is being placed on cultivation of peatlands, as these naturally wet areas play an important role in global greenhouse gas emissions. 10 to 20 percent of the peatland area is drained for agriculture, releasing 6 percent of the anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. Promisingly, grass may be cultivated without draining. The key now is to determine which cultivation method and grass species release the least amount of greenhouse gases. Once the grass is ready for harvest, it is brought to the green biorefinery demonstration plant. Here, the next step is to improve the biorefinery technologies for processing the grass. We're working very much on optimization of the process uh, in terms of yield, how much protein can we squeeze out, you can say, of the grass, uh, the more, the better. Freshly harvested grass from surrounding fields is chopped and pressed into a fibrous pulp and so-called green juice. The green juice gets heated to 80 degrees and is spun around in a large centrifuge. This causes the protein to precipitate into a highly concentrated powder, leaving the so-called brown juice as residue. Finally, the grass protein needs to be tested by the end user. Therefore, the researchers check whether the pigs eat the new protein source and investigate its effects on animal growth and its digestibility. My research is about finding alternative protein sources for animal feed. So instead of importing these huge amount of soy that we import in Denmark, we want to find something that we can grow locally in Denmark and feed to, to primarily our pigs. In the spirit of circular, waste-free production, the grass protein powder is not the only usable product of the biorefining process. We are extracting protein primarily, but we're also getting side streams from the biorefining process for bioenergy or biomaterials or um, uh, fertilizer and nutrients. These achievements at the Danish demonstration site of the EU-funded Go Grass project prove that grass could be a sustainable local alternative for animal feed, while possibly offering new business opportunities that could contribute to the future of our bioeconomy. <laughs>